Well, the Maroons are hitting their stride at the right time this season and head into the rivalry matchup with three victories in a row. Joining me now is a key piece to that Dowling win streak, senior receiver Carson Brown. Carson, the team began one in three on the season. What's been kind of a, a key piece to turning that around and kind of keeping that confidence, knowing that, hey, this is a, a team that can have a good season? Yeah, it was tough at the start, for starting one and three, but we started getting locked in on practice. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, you've had some, some key plays in this stretch. You scored in each of the three victories in a row. Um, what's been a key to that passing offense that's allowed Dowling to really get on the right track? Yeah, I just got to give it up to the coaches because calling up the right plays and everything, and then the O-line blocking, and then the QBs can get me the ball. Yeah, also running as well has been, you know, really good. You're talented running back, Middleton, um, and then the offensive line, you've got some, some leaders there as well. Um, what's clicking so well in the, in the running game, too? Yeah, I think it's just that with the passing game, it's opening up everything else, and then the O-line is just opening up holes for them. Mm -hmm. um, starting on the season, you know, you had a big matchup. Your guys' schedule is not easy, one of the toughest in the state, uh, playing Southeast Polk and losing your quarterback there. How has the team and the leadership been able to kind of overcome losing a, a key starter heading into the season, and now, you know, you've worked with two other quarterbacks? Yeah, it was definitely tough at the start when we lost him, but we just had to come together more as a team. Yeah, for sure. Now, this big rivalry, uh, a lot of talk about it. Fans maybe more so than the actual players, but what does this rivalry mean to your teammates and yourself when you're getting ready to play Valley? Uh, it's just another game for us, but it's more hype around practices and everything like that. We just know they're a really good team, so we just got to bring it all and come together as a team. So you feel during the week some guys kind of elevating their, their focus and their play, knowing that you, know, you have a real tough team coming in and a, and a rival in, in Valley? Yeah, most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, with this game, you know, a victory, would that, you know, while you said it's a, just another game, would a victory be a little more sweeter than against another opponent, considering that it would be against Valley? Uh, it would feel pretty good, but we just got to go into the next week after them. Yeah. Now, I know a lot of you guys kind of cross over in different sports growing up, whether it's elementary, junior high, in the off season and summer. Um, you may know some of these guys and are friends with some of them. Are there bragging rights that kind of carry over to other sports or when you, when you see each other after the game is over? Uh, there definitely is, because we always keep in touch after, that, after games and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And how about, you know, you're a three-sport athlete, basketball and track and field. When you see these guys on the court or on the track, you kind of bring it up. If you're able to win, you bring it up a little bit to them uh, afterwards. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> What's it going to take for Dowling to be victorious against Valley? In your mind, at the end of the game, what needs to go well to get that win? I think we just need to stay together as a team and just play all 48 minutes of the whole game. All right. Well, thank you so much, Carson, for your time. Thanks for joining us. There you have it, senior receiver Carson Brown. He's electric. Look for him deep downfield and see if the Tigers can stop him. Well, stick around because coming up on the Courts' Corner, Valley head coach Gary Swenson joins Keith for some Tiger talk.